I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to evaluate square root of decimal numbers. So I have taken up two examples. In one we have one decimal, tenth place and the second one we have hundredth place. Okay. Let us see how to find square root of these numbers. To begin with we need to pair them up. Pairing is done in twos. Pairing should be done from decimal place left side for the whole numbers right so in twos we got two six nine and on the right side it should be done from closest to decimal right so here's only one number what we can do here is we can introduce a zero right and then pair it up correct so that is how we should pair and now we will start our repeated division to divide with a kind of a special kind of a division what we do here is we look for a number let's say which we have to write here and here same number so i'll write down this division kind of separately so we have 69.50 in the first step we have done the pairing right so we have two and it goes away from decimal point it goes away from decimal point both the sides so what i have to do here is write a number here and the same number on the top oh, what is the maximum number which I can place? It is definitely 8, right? 8 times 8 is 64. So I can write 8 times 8 at 64 and now take away. Taking away we get 5 and then bring down both the numbers here and we have to divide further. So I'll put a decimal since I have brought down the numbers after the decimal. Now let's continue this process of special division right so i'm using the square root sign still here we have to write a number which is twice the quotient 2 times 8 is 16 right and now a number here and the same number should go there what could it be i could write 2 if i write 3 3 times 6 is 18 8 and 1 3 times 3 is 3 and 1 4 that could also go right so i could write 3 also. Let me try 3 here. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 6 is 18, 8 and 1. 3 times 1 is 3 and then we get 4 here, right? So now if we take away, what do we get? We get 10 take away 9 as 1, 14 take away 8 as 6. So we get some remainder. So of course it is slightly higher than 8.3, but we'll kind of stop here. You can always continue if you want two decimal places you can bring down two zeros right two zeros and divide further by twice this number which will be two times three is six two times eight is sixteen now you have to look for a number which should go there i'll leave here you can continue with this division okay now in the second case we have to pair starting from the decimal both left side and right side we have two numbers here that's one pair on the left side it is kind of like this so six remains as a lone number the number which we could go here will be uh, two right let me start from here sir two times two is four three times three is nine so we cannot use that two times two is four and take away four gives you two bring down 45 right now we continue with division twice 2 is 4. We are looking for a number here, same number which can be placed, right? So let us see if I write a number 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 and 3, but 6 times 4 is 24. So that will be higher. So I can use 5, not 6, right? So let's use 5. 5 times 5 is 25, 2. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22. So that gives us 20 here, bring down 23. Once you do that, you have to put a decimal. Twice 25 is 50, right? Now we have to again look for a number which can be placed. Since we have used 23, which is after decimal, we have placed a decimal sign here, right? 5 times 4 is 20. So if I write 4 here, 4 times 4 is 16. I think that should work. So let's write 4 here. 4 times 4 is 16, right? 4 times 0 is 0, so we get 1. And 4 times 5 is 20. That works. So to one decimal place, that is our answer, right? So we have our answers here. 
square root of 645.23 can be written approximately equal to 25.4 to one decimal place and square root of 69.5 is equals to 8.3 to one decimal place. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to practice our method of finding square root. Thank you and all the best.